Hey everybody, it's your boy Whirlwind, and um, sorry for the late video. Uh, I recorded one, edited one, and realized that, you know, when you get new technology in your hands to optimize your gear, sometimes technical difficulties happen. And I realized that uh, this thing wasn't picking up my recordings, and my new streaming camera was picking everything up and canceling this guy out. So, some of the stuff that I had recorded such as uh, 18 minutes worth of footage is not going to be used. I'm lying. I'm going to use some of that. When it comes down to making these videos, sometimes there are things that uh, don't come into mind on decent time. So in between takes, all of these are takes, sometimes you just look stupid like this. All right, so I'm not a very big YouTuber. I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm just getting started, but I think some of my quality in videos are actually pretty decent. Saying that, it took me time to actually get to this part of me uh, producing my own YouTube videos. And just the constant practice of the programs that I use to actually edit my videos and then being able to emulate the YouTubers that I enjoy, I think I came out pretty strong. Now for those that enjoy my videos, these are things are for you and for me. More therapy for me, but you, I'm sure you enjoy these things as well. Now the topic of the day is basically just, hey, when it comes down to being a creative, put your efforts in the best way you can. There's plenty of things that you may have that's a skill that can benefit you in both online and in your creative, you know, niche. A friend asked me if I happened to jot down or write a script form of my YouTube videos, and actually I don't. This is all off the cuff. I'm talking to you about my passion, therefore it all comes out nice and neat. Also it took a lot of practice of me just talking to myself in the car before I actually started putting a camera in my face. Granted, I have actually have tons and tons of videos that I have cut off in my YouTube that uh, started off of a little Coolpix Nikon camera. One of the things that kept me from doing this uh, regularly is due to me trying to put more forth and effort in my actual artist abilities instead of just putting my face out there. You know, those things can kind of conflict with each other and they kind of conflict right now, but I'm actually finding a decent schedule to fit these things in and that is important for you as well. So try to figure those things out, but don't try to jam yourself full of, you know, projects that uh, make you go insane. So some of this that you see that's like in front of me right here that I'm looking at you, these things took time for me to gradually gain, such as my Canon camera that's sitting right here in front of me that I'm talking to you through, my HyperX microphone that took a minute for me to actually get a hold of, even though I had a few other condenser microphones, for some reason they weren't taking the quality or getting the quality that I exactly wanted when it came down to the sound, so I had to forfeit that and actually get a USB microphone. These things are expensive, but if you are willing to put the efforts into getting these things together, it just takes time. Budget those things. Figure out the things that you want to spend on and actually put the efforts in making them work for you. And this can also benefit you in business. So it benefits me as well. I'm not going to tell you like what you have to do. I say let the creative juices flow for you in the areas that you want to actually produce. Now. When it comes down to actually having these things that I use to make these videos, like I said, it takes time. 
you know, use what you have that's free right now so you can actually gain the knowledge and uh, practice to be able to produce these things. I started out editing videos on Windows Movie Maker. That is a gross program, but it did the job. As of a microphone in the very beginning with the Coolpix camera, I was using the onboard microphone. It did the job. Sort of. So you guys need to stay consistent when it comes down to actually putting these videos out there. And even though you may not be getting anything or getting a lot of following, getting a lot of views, guess what? I'm not getting a lot of views either, but I am putting these things out there for you guys that are enjoying this just for you and for me. So one of the things about this is you're gonna have tons and tons and tons of technical difficulties. Make sure that your stuff is working properly and there's a lot of troubleshooting that you will have to do. So do a lot of testing before you are fully ready on getting these things out here. Now, I have a friend that, you know, you know, has made those mistakes, but I love him for his diligence. And it's a good thing that there's been a few times where I've had to help back him up and, it, and I'm glad it happens. Look, I know you're watching. I'm not gonna say your name, bro. Uh, so let's just, you know, keep things going. I want to do some more with you, man, because, you know, I see lots of potential with the things that you're doing. Another thing, it takes lots and lots of practice to be able to actually speak like this, I guess. Um, I emulate, and sometimes emulation is a good thing for you to learn how to actually speak in front of a camera. Hey, I'm talking to you. Granted, this is not live, but, uh, someone's watching. I spent a lot of time talking to myself in my car and you know, hey, sometimes conversation with yourself can help you in forms of actually speaking to crowds, speaking to people, speaking what is you know going on with you. It may not come out nice in the beginnings, but it allows you to be able to practice and get your ideas out there, the things that you want to say, the things that fuel you with what makes you you. Now. One of the things with this video is just me actually wanting to give you the encouragement that you seek. I can't go into the details of actually all the things that I have in front of me that's working for me right here, right now. But if you really like this video and the things that I happen to say to actually you know, encourage you to go out there and do your videos, however, uh, please leave a comment in the description and help me get to at least maybe a hundred likes on this video and I will definitely put in the time to actually make that video come to life. Seriously. So now that I've actually gotten this finished and wrapped up, I'm going to go ahead and get another video set up for you guys since I was lacking on the video for Friday and I'm going to be posting this whenever this posted. There's going to be another video coming up along with my next Friday video, so I will have three videos popping up soon. For that pep talk, let's go ahead and uppercut that like button, share and subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Now, I am out.